Hi submarine friends, welcome back to building my diesel electric submarine. So yesterday I was talking about installing an air intake for the door, well for the engine assembly and I ended up putting it on the door. It was super easy, I just hole sawed a hole in here and bolted it through the back. And so now I'm just going to silicone this because it has to be airtight. <clears throat> so the other thing I did is I trimmed the door and I, I made a part. I machined this flange here that's welded to the exhaust pipe. That's another reason I had to trim this door because it, uh, it wasn't clearing this flange. So you see now it can clear no problem. I think what I'm going to do here to last this, I'm just going to put a, a threaded stud in there and then I'll just make an oversized wing nut that I can just spin onto the thread. It's got to be simple and it's got to be something relatively quick. There's some kind of a, a latch binder, load binder kind of a thing, over centering binder. I don't know. It'll come to me. I'm not worried about it right now. So now what I do is this, this right here is a section of water cooled exhaust pipe. So it's a stainless steel pipe inside, carbon steel on the outside. So what'll happen is this now gets welded to the other side of this flange. And then I can just undo the four bolts and the flange splits apart because it's two pieces bolted together right here. So this just goes right here. I'll weld it on. I don't want to weld it on now because I may want to adjust the angle a little bit when I put the whole exhaust system in. So what I'm going to do, I think today I've got a whole bunch of two inch exhaust pipe showing up at my house. That is, um, so you know, you buy a kit and it's got some lengths and then some mandrel bends. You don't want tight bends. So I've got some mandrel bends coming and then I'm going to build the whole exhaust system and I'm just going to measure where this is in relation to the hull, but I'm not going to get it dead on. There's just no way. So that's why I want to be able to just weld that on later because, you know, I can weld it on with a bit of angle to it. That's no problem at all. So then it'll line up perfect. Otherwise I might have to cut it up. I don't want to do that. So the other thing is I had a little tragedy here. My brand new 211 Miller welder quit, just quit. I was welding with it. Next time I wanted to weld, it was dead. So Chad GPT did an analysis on it for me. That's really handy. And it's concluded that the, um, the diode, one of the diodes is burnt out on the, I can't remember the name of the part. So I called, I called Air Liquid and there's a place in town where I can take it to get warranty work done on it. It's three year warranty, so at least I don't have to pay for nothing. But that means I had to switch back to my larger welder. So what I did is I just put some 030 wire in it. So it's a little easier to weld this light stuff. I usually use 035, but I got some 030. So I put that in and I got some new tips. So. I'll work with this welder until that one's finished. I can't be without a welder. I'm screwed. I would have to go buy another welder if I couldn't use this big guy. But it's working really good, so it's all good. So, I just realized today that I've worked 10 days straight on this, so I'm taking the afternoon off. What can I say? Ciao.